I'm finally at a point where I can say that I'm pretty much finished building this room. I'm sure there'll be small things that I add or change throughout the next year or so until I move out, but I'm really satisfied with where it's at right now. So I wanted to give you guys a room tour. I know I did one just a couple months ago, but since then I have added so much that I kind of felt the need to make a little update. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So this is my streaming setup and where I watch TV. And then right over here, we have my room. Walking in, you kind of get flash banged a little by all the LEDs I have, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first things first, when you walk in, you'll notice these Nanoleaf lines right here. These are super sick, and I actually just set these up the other day. Nanoleaf hooked me up with a normal kit and then an expansion kit, so I have this cool design running next to my bookshelf. These are such a cool like statement piece over here, and they have a ton of cool features. You can control them with an app, and they have like voice control and like Siri, Google Home, all that stuff. As well as that, they have these noise reacting modes so you can make them like controlled by music or your voice, stuff like that. Overall, super, super sick. If you wanna pick up these lines, the link will be in my description. This is my bookshelf. Growing up, I read a lot. I was super obsessed with books, so I still have a lot of my collection right here. My bookshelf is a mess, so we're not really gonna to talk too much about this. Um, I guess these are all of my like LED controllers right here. I have some random tech stuff up here, and then this is a lot of stuff that I use every day, like my AirPods, my wallets, my glasses, stuff like that. Up here I have a Yeezy 350 box, a Jordans box, and then a Destiny Ghost vinyl right here. This is my favorite game of all time, Destiny 1. Next to it I have this random fake plant that someone got me for Christmas, and then like I already touched on, the Nanoleaf lines. Moving over here I have this huge fake plant from Ikea. This was like $65, but definitely worth it. I think it adds a lot to the space. I have this light bar behind it. This was originally a lamp for the corner of my room that had a base, but I detached the legs from the base, and now I just have this bar facing outwards. I think it looks really cool and transitions really nicely into my editing setup right here, so I like it like this. I have this LED cube right here. This was originally supposed to be like a bench or a chair, like you're supposed to sit on it, but I just kind of have it here to hide some cables in the back, as you can see, and I just kind of think it looks cool. I have a lot of random LED items to fill space. I wanted to go for a super minimal vibe in my room, but like have all of the things in here be deliberate, if that makes sense. I didn't want it to feel cluttered, but I wanted it to feel fill. Transitioning into my editing setup over here, I have a MacBook Pro right here with a 4K monitor. This is where I do all of my editing, whether it be TikToks, YouTube videos, Twitch highlights, everything like that. All of my editing happens right here on this MacBook with this monitor. The way I accomplish this is with this dock right here. I have an HDMI going into it. This is where my SD card goes. I have my keyboard, my mouse, and charging cord. This lets me connect this monitor to my MacBook as well as plug in my SD card, all my peripherals. I don't use a mouse pad here because this mouse is fine on this desk. Desk. I don't really do any gaming over here. I have a separate like gaming and streaming setup So this is just for editing for my peripherals I have the Logitech Pebble people hate on this mouse, but I love it. It's so light and portable and it's like silent I mean not literally silent, but very quiet. I like this because I can just slip it in my laptop and take it with me and the USB receiver is super small so I can just kind of plug it in here wherever I'm going. This is a custom build keyboard It's kind of hard to do it justice through my camera's mic, but I'll try Again, just know in person, it sounds way better. Moving on to this lamp right here. I got this from Amazon. This was a super recent pickup. I'll have everything linked in the description. So if you wanna pick anything up, just go to the description. I think this lamp is super cool. You can also like uncurl it and make different designs with it. I just have it like this because I think it looks kind of nice and complements this setup really well. Over here, I have a whiteboard that I write my to-do list on every day. This is how I keep track of everything that I need to do, everything that I need to post and my meals. I accidentally rubbed a little bit off earlier, so we're just gonna ignore that. As you can see though, I've done all four of my TikTok posts for today and I didn't have anything to post on YouTube today because I'm uploading every Wednesday and Saturday and today's Friday. Right above that for decoration, I have this vinyl of American Teen by Khalid, one of my favorite albums, a really good summer album. Album. I get a lot of comments from people saying I'm pronouncing Khalid wrong. I'm not. I think that when I say Khalid, y'all think I'm talking about like DJ Khaled. This is a completely different artist. And that's how you pronounce his name, Khalid. I have this Govi Glide beam above it. Um, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it has like the cyan and blue gradient going through it. This is my main lighting at my desk and just kind of lights up the area, makes this corner look nice. The desk itself is from Flexi Spot. It's this bamboo desk. It has a sit stand function, but I never raise it or lower it. I just leave it right there. This chair right here is the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2. It's okay, it's a little bit overpriced, so I wouldn't recommend it, but they sent it to me a while ago, like a year ago, and then I used it in my streaming setup for a while until I replaced that one and this chair came in here. Moving on from this corner, I have these blackout curtains right here. The sun rises on this side of the house every
every morning at like 7 a.m. and I'm sleeping right here. So I had to get blackout curtains because normal curtains still let in a lot of sunlight, but I didn't just want this like huge ugly black wall to be here. So I added these fairy lights to kind of add some light there. They fade in and out, which looks pretty cool. And then on camera, when it has background blur, like when the camera is focusing on something, usually my face, they look really cool in the background, see? I have these plants hanging right here to just kind of complement the editing setup a little more and transition really nicely from this plant here and that plant there. Moving on to this corner of my room, I have a lot of stuff over here. All of it is just for decoration, basically. I have these shelves from Ikea. Again, everything will be linked in the description. These shelves are what I display my shoes on. I have some more shoes in my closet, but these are the ones that I like the most and wear the most, so I keep them right here on display. I have a full shoe collection on TikTok if you want to see all the pairs of shoes I have. I think I have like 20, so go check out that TikTok if you haven't already. Right here, I have some more Nano Leafs. It's the same brand that made those lines right there and those triangles, but these are hexagons. Now, this brightness is on like 25%, so you can kind of see it on camera, but it still doesn't look too great on camera. I promise in person, they are super, super cool. Um, they have this nice like blue and cyan and white gradient going through them, which just kind of complements my room's color scheme really well. And they lead downwards into my bedside table where I have this essential oil diffuser. Again, another thing that looks pretty bad on camera, it doesn't flicker in person. Basically, if you don't know what a diffuser is, I put water and essential oils into it and then it makes the room smell really nice. Some of your teachers probably have one of these. I usually have lavender in here to just kind of add a calming mood to the room. I have a fake plant right here. Again, this was given to me on a holiday a while ago. I don't know what that is. This is my bedside lamp. A lot of people have questions about this. It's called a sunrise alarm clock. Basically, it's not always on this like light up RGB mode. Um, in the mornings, it's completely off. And then when I set an alarm, it slowly gets brighter leading up to the time that the alarm is set for. And then it wakes you up with the brightness because it like makes your whole room look like the lights on. So it's a much more like natural way of waking up without just a blaring sound in your ears. You can also make it play sounds. For example, mine plays rain sounds because the light alone isn't enough to wake me up. It just kind of helps the wake up transition to be a little nicer. These right here control the LED strips for my room, as you can see. Um, normally I have them on this nice like cyan mode, but look, the cyan mode flickers. I don't know why it does this. So whenever I film videos, I have to put them on white, which makes my room look a little bit worse. Normally it's a little bit more blue and a little less white, but yeah, we got to do what we got to do. This is my trash can. It's just white, really basic, has this nice little pattern to it. It's actually not a very good trash can. Like it's kind of flimsy, see? Um, but it, it's a trash can. Like it doesn't really matter that much. This is my bed. I think it's a twin bed. I'm honestly not too positive about this. It's the same bed I've had for most of my life. Um, I have this nice black uh, bed frame. That's what it's called. Nice black bed frame. Um, and this is a weighted blanket right here. It is a 15 pound weighted blanket. I love this thing. I have another blanket right here because the weighted blanket is too short. It doesn't cover my feet when I'm in bed. So I have this blanket to cover my feet. Above my bed, I have this painting right here of a soccer goal. I've had this for a very long time. I used to play a lot of soccer going up for like the first what, 14 years of my life? Recently stopped playing soccer, but that's a story for another time. Transitioning over to here, we have this light bulb on this uh, minimal lamp from Amazon. This is a nano leaf light bulb right here, which means I can sync it up to the rest of the nano leaf things in my room, which is those those and those. Right now I just have it on this kind of white color because again when it's on cyan it flickers on camera so that you're gonna have to deal with that. I have this huge keelable rug right here. I love this thing so much. It is such a statement piece when you like walk in my room it's just like boom. Kilua. Hunter Hunter is my favorite anime and Kilua is my favorite character. I had this custom made for me. It is a one of one custom rug. There's no other rug that looks like this. I mean, there's other Kilua rugs out there, obviously, but none that are this. Genuine one of one custom rug. I will have the person that made this linked in the description of this video. If you want to go hit him up, I think it was $270 for this, but it is three feet by three feet and I think it's definitely worth it. Moving on to here, I have this huge mirror from Ikea. Peep the socks. The socks are drippy. Like I said, I got this from Ikea. It is huge huge, so big. This is what I use for like fit checks in the morning, you know? I have a floodlight behind it. It is an RGB floodlight, which means you can like change the color of it and everything. So there it is right there. It just kind of adds this nice glow behind my mirror and makes it look a lot cooler. I chose this specific mirror because it has nice, like really thin edges that don't stand out a lot. So it just looks like a huge mirror with no outline. So yeah, I like this thing a lot. A lot of people are confused about like where my closet is in my room because I don't ever show it in my TikToks. Basically, my bathroom is right here and my closet is through my bathroom, but it's super, super messy. So we're not going to go in there. Moving on to here, I have more Nano Leafs. Again, hard to see on camera because these are actually on full 100% brightness, which is why the camera darkens everything else to kind of show this. I have a nice cyan and white and blue color gradient going through it, which looks really cool, of course. I don't really have a way of hiding this cord, which is annoying, but 
it's fine. I think that just about covers everything in my room though. If I miss anything, feel free to, you know, drop a comment down below and I will answer you, let you know what it is. But yeah, that's gonna finish off this room tour. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'm posting every Wednesday and Saturday over summer. So two uploads a week, pretty cool. If you guys wanna watch me live, my Twitch link will be in the description of this video. So go drop a follow on the Twitch. I'm daily streaming over summer. And yeah, that's all I got for you. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.